already. So since we um, learned about symmetry and reviewed that last week, this week we're gonna start making some of our symmetrical artwork. You have three options of what you can do. You only need to pick one. We have our lighthouse and its reflection into water, so it's showing symmetry that way. We have a little symmetrical um, name monster, and you'll figure out why he's called that um, in that video. And then we have our graph art and making symmetrical designs or symmetrical pictures using graph paper. And I show you a couple options for this as well. So each of these has its own video. So if um, you wanna do one of these, look for the video that um, is for that one. And again, if you wanna do more and watch some of the other videos, go for it. But these are some examples of what we have this week. Our final option, option three, is some graph paper kind of design art. Um, you could make something like this. If you have graph paper at home, um, great. If not, I am putting um, some grids up on my website that you can print off, some with tiny squares like this, and then some um, with slightly bigger squares if that is easier for you. Um, but what's important, is that we are making symmetrical designs. So whatever you do on one side has to be mirrored on your other side of your line of symmetry. So right here would be one line of symmetry, right? Whatever's happening here is happening over here. But then for this one, I made two lines of symmetry and that's how you get kind of this design like this. So I have this line here and this line here and whatever happens in one happens on the other, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you another way and show you how to do this. So this is my blank graph paper, and again, if you um, don't have any, go on my website and print some off. But I need to find my line of symmetry. So I'm going to do that. I could either count the little squares. That's a lot of work. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna fold it in half. <laughs> okay, so. Um, up to you, but for the picture I want to make, I'm going to do it long ways, like a hot dog, long and skinny. Um, if you're doing this one, I folded it both ways, okay, and then I found the middle. But keeping it simple, I just fold it in half and open it back up, and now that fold is marking the line of boxes that are the middle. So that's going to be my line of symmetry. Okay, so now I can go in and I can start coloring in my boxes. If you wanna plan this out first and draw with a pencil, you can. I think I'm just gonna go for it <laughs> and try um, and just make something on the go. So I think I wanna make a picture of something instead of just designs and I wanna make a tree. So I'm gonna start with the ground. So I'm gonna start coloring in some squares for the ground. I'm gonna use markers for this. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a little uneven, just so it's not a boring straight line across. All right, I have reached, I have reached my middle square. So I'm gonna color that square in. So this is my line of symmetry here. When I get here, whatever I do, on this side, I now need to repeat over here. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm going to count how many squares out I went, and I'm gonna do the same here. So this is my middle, so that doesn't count. And then I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I color this. Okay, now I went down one, two, three, four, and I just kind of working my way across. Then I went up one, two, up again for three, and down for three. All right, so that's just my basic line of my ground. Um, I'm gonna save down here for a little bit later, and you could definitely take more time to color those in a little nicer, but I just did pretty quick. All right, so now I'm thinking about my tree. 
and I'm going to start again on this side. Whatever I do on this side, I'll have to repeat over here. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to do kind of this curved going up to the trunk or going up the trunk. Decide how skinny I want to get. I think that's probably it. And then if I want to do a lot, maybe I just go like this instead of coloring each square. And then I think I want to go out a little bit before the green starts. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat that over here. So I started once green square in. And this just takes practice, kind of figuring out where the squares are on either side. So do your best. If you mess up, it's okay. That's why if you want to practice and plan in pencil first, that's always a good idea. And then one, two, going out at a diagonal. Okay. Now I'm going to do some kind of um, tree top. I'm going to again start on this half. I think what I'm going to do is start kind of where my um, trunk left off and then just kind of fill. Again, there was no special way to doing that. I just kind of made some kind of tree-like shape, okay? Um, kind of going square by square, picking which direction I wanted to go. Now is the part where I have to make sure whatever I did on this side, I do on the other. So again, I'm just gonna work square by square. So that's my middle, that's my line of symmetry. So now I need to make that square over here. And so what I'm doing is I'm looking which direction it goes and doing the opposite and how many. So the next one, it continues to go down this way, but then it goes over for two. It's kind of a funny point. <laughs> it goes back up, goes across one, two, three, four. And I can keep going. All right, and hopefully as you go, oh, I got confused, see? Hopefully as you go, um, it works its way back around, okay? And I can add other, if I wanna add a couple more, just little details in the tree, I can do that, but now I need to figure out where those are. So, um, I'm gonna look, going from the middle seems kinda of hard, so instead I'm gonna go from here. So this is the row, and it's one, two, three, four, five blank before I get to that one. One, two, three, four, five blank. And then from there, I can just kind of repeat one, two, three, and then up one. Okay, and I can, they kind of look like smiley faces, and then I can continue to add those kind of details. And what I'm doing is I'm leaving all this space in between because I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually color with crayon. All right, so this is how my symmetrical graph art tree turned out. Um, again, you can make a picture of whatever you would like. You could do a tree. You could do a person. Um, this lends itself really well to kind of a Minecraft design of a person. You could do... Um, houses or buildings or flowers, whatever you want. But the key is, is that we have this imaginary line of symmetry, right? By folding our paper in half, okay? You can also just do designs. Um, if you want to do designs just with one line of symmetry, those turn out really neat. Or you can push yourself and do two lines of symmetry and create a design that way, okay? Up to you what you make, but these are just some starting off points 
um, for your graph art symmetrical artwork. Mm -hmm.